Okay, we're back to this light here where we uh, didn't have a Romex connector that was flat like this. So we'll put this one in. That is reading the back like this here. Just snaps in. See how it closes when you push it in? Like that. I'll go up and we'll screw this on here. Now we'll go get our uh, box top and put it on there. here. We'll put the white in just a little shorter. So it's the same line, just the black. And the wire nice and straight. Put our bracket up.
there's no ground. It's just a two wire Romex. And I already plug our light in the hole. Pick it up. Okay, so here are the controllers pointing in. in this situation here. The black wire is live, your white is neutral, and the bare green is the ground. And this is older wiring, so there's no ground wire. So we'll just get our insulation lined up the top and our copper even at the bottom. Stick our wire nut on here, make sure our insulation goes into the uh, bottom of the wire nut. this then we'll just take our saw thing off and we are all set so here's our uh, project source light we installed and there's the instructions So that is how to wire an LED uh, mini flesh mount light by a project source here in the country I was born in. We are upgrading to LED lighting. It's maintenance free and energy saving. Black is live. The white is neutral. We use 14 American wire gauge on 15 amps, 12 American wire gauge on 20 amps. Red and blue are also live colors. And you may find white live in a switch loop or a 220 volt circuit where the appliance does not require a neutral. Peace. Thanks for watching.